welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, get to know me type of video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I just found a bunch of random questions online that I'm going to be answering for you about myself while I do my makeup. So let's get started. I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with this white from Milani. I absolutely love these eyeshadows. I keep picking up more and more. I love this one because I'm so fair that it's so hard for me to find a highlight that's white enough to look like a highlight. And I'm just using my Sigma E60 for this. That's what this brush does for me. For my crease, I'm gonna be using my Stila Eyes are the window shadow palette, and I have the one mind. And I'm first going to go in with this shade, it's called Wit, with my Sigma E40 brush. So I guess I can first start out with where I'm from. I currently live in Arizona, and I was born here in Arizona. So I've lived here my whole life. Nothing too exciting, just hot, dry, hot, nasty oven outside. Um, yeah, I grew up in the regular suburbs, I guess, but we did ride horses growing up. We had the best trainer ever. We rode Arabian horses out in Chandler, and now she lives in Tucson, so I don't go riding as much as I would like to, but I grew up riding and showing English pleasure and hunter pleasure. So much fun. Absolutely loved it. Growing up, I was like tomboy not at all like makeup or hair anything like that this happened later on in life but still cowgirl at heart absolutely love my horses so that's that i have a sibling her name's jenna older sister I'm gonna go into my bobby brown palette and take this shade camel same brush sigma e40 for that for animals i've always been a animal lover Growing up, cats and horses. Recently now, I do have dogs. Still love my cats, though. So I do have five pets. As you can probably see them behind me. Three cats, two dogs. I have a cat named Kay. She's always the lazy little black one laying behind me. Um, she's probably like 11 or so. I love that girl. And then... There's Bagheera. He's my babes. He's a long black haired cat. I've had him forever. He turns 15 this month. He's my little medical problem child. He says diabetes again now for the third time. Likes to keep popping back. So we're treating him for that. Hopefully he gets better soon. And then there's Kronos. My gray tabby that'll probably pop around back. He's a new addition. He's only two. And then Aries, the Australian Shepherd behind me. And Emo, my old man Pekingese, the white dog that you probably will never see because he just lays around sleeping. Bronze from Milani with my Sigma E25 brush. I'm going to work this in the crease just a little bit lower than the rest of the shades that I was using. So for my job, I do work with animals. I am a veterinary technician. Absolutely love my job. I do small animals. Um, but yeah, veterinary technician, I've been a veterinary technician, gosh, four or five years, something around there. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I couldn't ask for a better job for working with animals. For YouTube, how I got into that, I was on Pinterest one day when all that came out a few years ago, or at least when I heard about it a few years ago and I was going through the makeup page and I found Carly Beebles, Bibles, however you say her last name, uh, foundation routine. It's the one that has like all the views and I don't know, one of her original ones. Cause I started watching four, four years ago, four or five years ago. And, um, I was so amazed cause before, like I was saying, I was tomboy-ish. I kind of grew out of that and tried to do some beauty stuff. 
didn't really do it that great so when i watched that with just more than foundation i was in awe oh my goodness i loved it so i started watching her and nicole guerrero learning from them before i branched out and found other youtubers and got hooked on watching everybody and i'm gonna use champagne from milani and pack that on my eyelid so after a few years of watching them on youtube and playing with makeup on myself and getting a little bit better, I decided to start my own channel. Not so much as in I'm a know-it-all and I'm gonna teach you guys. I mean, I hope that I can help, but more of as in this is what I can do, um, we can do this together type of thing. Not so much like here, I know everything because obviously I don't. I just think it's so much fun. One of my favorite videos to watch is like the transformation videos which I cannot do. I wish I could. I need to start practicing more on that. If you noticed too, new background. Um, we did move again. So that was fun. I do love where we're at though. I have, when I say we, I mean I have um, a fiance, boyfriend I like to call him. I don't know. Do you guys absolutely hate that word? Fiance? I don't know what it is. I just think it's a terrible word. So I call him boyfriend. Sometimes I call him my fiance, but I know he feels the same way. We've been engaged for so long. We are planning on getting married soon. All right, the next shade I'm gonna take is Cocoa from Bobbi Brown with my E25. Darken this up. So we are planning on getting married soon. We don't want like a big classic wedding. We don't want that. That's I, I can't imagine ever getting in married, getting married first of all in front of a bunch of people. To me, that's very personal, and that day is about you. I know some people love that, but that, that's not for us. So we're planning on going away for a great long vacation and um, getting married and kind of just hanging out with us and enjoying the peace and quiet. Um, the next shade I'm gonna take is Genius right here, this dark brown, darker than Cocoa that I just used. Same brushy, 25. So that's all about Justin. He does have a son named Jacob. I do have a stepson. He's now 12. I can't believe it. He's in junior high. Um, that's, yeah, is that it? I'm going to use Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black with my Sigma E65 Angle Brush. Absolutely love this angle brush. Thought I was like, yeah, I'm get, I can, I can kind of do my eyeliner. Get this brush, and I'm like, I can do my eyeliner, no problem. Well, that's that's the thought process of going into it, not so much afterwards. going to now I'm going to tight line using Bella Pierre Cosmetics gel eyeliner in ebony oh this stuff's amazing I got this in my ipsy bag if you are a black eyeliner fan this stuff is so great doesn't really transfer it goes on smoothly it's black like with one swipe which doing your tight line, you can't really do it twice. Unless you're that talented, but I'm not. Yeah. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna like blink a billion times afterwards. And I'm gonna use a new primer today. Skin with two ends, Orchard Gel Tint. Color correcting, mattifying day primer. It looks like this, and the bottom says bright side. My mom orders all of his products, so the stuff that she doesn't use, I get to get. Uh, let's see. It looks like this. Oh, let's hope. Let's hope it turns out good, right? Oh, I hate that feeling. Ugh. It feels like, um, gosh, what's that one thing called? It feels like the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I absolutely hate that feeling on my skin. 
mainly on my fingers when I'm blending it in. I think it's all like the mattifying ones do that. Ugh. For foundation, I'm gonna mix two. A foundation and a CC cream. Um, same brand as my primer, he has a CC cream. Color correcting anti-aging treatment. I love this stuff. It's really nice and whipped too, but it's not super thick. It's a little bit dark for me and I want some more coverage, so I'm gonna mix in Max Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC20. Oh, favorites. So, let me see my list over here of all my favorites. Favorite subject in school, when I was in school. My favorite subject in school was math. Absolutely love math. Math is super easy for me. Plus I love math because it has one answer. So, yeah, favorite subject in school was math. Favorite TV shows. This is going to be a while. I absolutely love TV shows. I can sit down and watch a whole season and a half in one day. I love, love it. Plus, I'm a very lazy person, so sitting on the sofa all day really appeals to me. <laughs> um, I'm going to start from my most favorite and work my way down. So, you got Game of Thrones. Love it. Oh my goodness. I remember we found out about it during its second season. Um, so I love Game of Thrones. Spartacus was a great series. Dexter was a great series. Sense of Anarchy. Um, what are some other? Oh, Vikings. That's a good one. I love my Vikings. That should be coming up soon, I think, for another season. <sighs> Orphan Black was a good one. Once Upon a Time. That's all that I can think of right now. Those are my favorites. But I'm contouring. I don't know what you guys saw or didn't see. I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick in the shade 330. And I'm just blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. Next favorite. Favorite food. Oh, I love food. If I had to choose, I'm going to choose a type of food. I love Italian food. Probably because I'm Italian, but I don't know. Like meats, cheeses, pasta. I can eat pasta every single day. I love it. And I love my meats and I love my cheese and I absolutely love garlic. Oh my goodness, garlic is the best thing in the world. So I can't think of like an actual dish just because I don't think I could ever stick with one dish in a row. I guess pasta. But I like to mix up my type of pastas and my type of sauces. So we're just going to go with Italian. Um, favorite drink. So I'm going to take this two ways. Favorite alcoholic drink and then favorite non-alcoholic drink. Favorite non-alcoholic drink has to be, I'm going back with the air spun to set my concealer, um, coffee. Coffee and water. I cannot get up in the morning and not have coffee. You do not want to be around me without my coffee. I absolutely love it. Um, so coffee and water. I drink so much water. I cannot live without water. When I go to a restaurant, water. So those are my favorite uh, non-alcoholic drinks. Favorite alcoholic drink would have to just be um, gin and tonic water. I don't like anything too fruity. Plus I get a headache easily with alcohol. Like I like wine, but I'm going to pass out and I'm going to have a headache. So <laughs> I like um, gin and tonic. It's not sweet, but if you put a little bit of lime in it, just perfect. Oh, this next, this next question's funny. PC or Mac? I just think it's funny because so many people are like set one way and they're, nothing in, is going to sway them. I don't know. I'm not the computer know-it-all here in this house, but I do like PC. My boyfriend, fiance, however you want to call him, um, has an Alienware compu computer. That thing's pretty cool. I like that. I don't know if that counts as its own thing or if that's like a PC. I don't know. Next one is how tall am I? I'm actually pretty tall. Oh, for bronzer, Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And I like to mix that with MAC Global Glow. This. With this brush. 
Um, so I'm pretty tall. I am 5'9". That's about it, but you can say with height, right? Yeah, tall 5'9". I guess it kind of works out because I hate wearing heels. So I never have to. Although the one downfall is trying to find pants that are long enough. Set in the stores, they think everybody's short. We're not. We're not all short. Make some longer jeans. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's Blush in Flame. This right here. I had to look at more questions for you guys because I, I blew through those faster than I thought or I've just been sitting here doing my makeup longer than I expected. It's probably that. Um, so YouTube username. My YouTube username is my name. I know. Not very creative. To highlight, I'm going to go into my Too Faced All Mode Eyes Palette and I'm going to use, I can't pronounce these, these two shades right here. I'm going to mix those two together to highlight my face with. What did you want to be when you were younger? Um, I wanted to be either a veterinarian or a horse trainer and have my horses. So after going into the vet field, I realized I don't want to be a veterinarian. So I love being the veterinary technician. So achieve that. Um, eventually, like I was saying before, I would love to have my own horse farm. So hopefully, hopefully later on in life I'll have that. I'm going to use NYX Gel Liner in Dark Brown. I do have an eyebrow routine up. Um, I'm going to be doing that exact thing today. So if you want a more in-depth video, I also went and showed you how I shape my eyebrows and how I maintain the shape. So if you want to see that, I'll put the link down below. Um, but next question, favorite dessert? I'm not much of a sweet tooth person. I like salt better than sweet. But if I had to pick a favorite dessert, probably cheesecake plain cheesecake. I don't like chocolate, so I don't want chocolate in there. I don't like that nasty, like, fruit syrup that they put on top of it. No, just plain cheesecake. Or Italian ice. Oh, Italian ice or, is, I don't know if it's sherbet or sorbet. I don't know. But those, those would have to be my favorite. Um, now we get into a bunch of, I looked up makeup questions like one or the other if you had to choose so we're probably gonna fly through these but the first one is blush or bronzer i'd have to say bronzer just because i'm so fair i like the color back into my face um next one eyeliner or mascara Ugh, mascara i mean come on what's the point of putting on eyeliner if you can't have mascara, then your lashes are going to look stubbier. And unless you had like beautiful lashes, which obviously I do not. So, mascara. The Stilla palette again and go in with Wit. That same matte light brown. And I'm going to mix that with Cappuccino from Milani. And start working that underneath my lash line. I should do it like this. Sorry guys, these are these are hard to do and talk. Um, next color for makeup, uh, neutral or color? Neutral. I mean, I love color. I do, but I just love neutral. So neutral. Um, brushes or sponges? Oh, that's a tough one. I guess I would have to go with brushes, even though I hate to do my foundation with a brush. Just because, how am I supposed to do the rest of my face? I can't do my eyebrows with a sponge or my eyeshadow. So brushes, I'll just have to deal. Oh, maybe I'll just put my foundation on with my fingers. So that'll do. That'll do, pig. Jeans or sweatpants? <laughs> sweatpants, of course. Like sweatpants, leggings. They can even make sweatpants that look like jeans. Why not? The next shade I'm going to take is Genius again, this dark matte brown, on an angled brush, and just place that 
along my lash line. And then I'm gonna take my pencil brush again and blend that dark brown out. Uh, next question, stripes or plaid? I don't, I don't have a problem with plaid, but I don't know, I don't own any. I do own stripes, so I guess I would say stripes. Flip-flops or sandals? Sandals. Because you can get so many cuter sandals than you can flip-flops. And with jeans and a t-shirt, sandals just look so nice compared to flip-flops. Alright, I'm not going to do false lashes because I don't have to and I don't like wearing them. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. Um... Cowboy boots or riding boots? Ugh, riding boots. Sorry. But with growing up and wearing riding boots and then people are like, oh, look at my country outfit. It's so cute. Just stop. No. No. Cowgirl at heart, riding boots. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? Oh, well, I guess I do like hunter boots. So hunter boots are tall. They go um, about right underneath to your knee. And I do like those for the winter. So we'll say that it's either riding boots or like your classic dark flat with no heel right below your knee type of boots forever 21 or charlotte ruse forever 21 i will say though i absolutely hate shopping in either store i hate shopping period generally when i go shopping i can't do them all i can't it's so many people so, I don't know, online shopping, but if I had to choose Forever 21 over Charlotte Ruse. Because I feel like they have a better selection. Charlotte Ruse can look cheap really easily. <laughs> I guess Forever 21 can too, but whatever. Alright, I'm going to use another skin product. Lip Lock Duo in Pretty in Pink. I'm going to use the lip liner and to line my lips. So you guys can see, huh? Um, hairspray or gel? Hairspray. All right, I'm not gonna be able to talk and do this. And then in the middle, I'm going to put this, I think it's Rimmel and Nude Eclipse. All right, face is done. I'm going to set my face with NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Oh, I love that feeling. It's so refreshing. All right, here's the finished look. Very bronze, very warm, one of my favorite looks to do. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also, please follow me on Instagram. I have the link to that on my homepage. Just click the little picture of the Instagram and follow me there. If you have any other questions that you want me to answer, please list them down below. Let me know what you guys think also of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought you guys might want to know a little bit more about me, especially since I've been on here for almost two years now, even though I was missing for one of those years. But I thought that you guys would like this video. Let me know what you think down below and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.